saw, I don't know if you guys saw the picture this morning of a priest in Philly at church this morning with the dog mask. It was fantastic. We're going to talk more about that later, but it's time now to make our Sunday statements that are late and never Rex, How about you start us off? Well, my Sunday statement, you know what, Sam? I made my Sunday statement in week 10. Roll the tape. Uh Uh Uh-oh. Roll the tape. I like the way the Jacksonville Jaguars have put this team together. They can rush the passer. they They can do all those type of things. So I think Jacksonville would give the the Patriots the biggest matchup Can problem. Can you say that one more time? Just for the record books? <laughs> for the some... record books. And I'm saying, I go, look, they still got to make the playoffs. Yeah. But yeah. I think they match up well with their style of play. That's a good-looking suit that guy's wearing. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Did you just drop, did you just drop the mic? Back, yeah, like, it dropped the mic. <laughs> Nothing else to be said, huh? All right, Randy, what do you have for Well, I remember a couple weeks ago we were in Kansas City. Wood, you made a statement. It's playoff football hit. Anything moving. Yes, well, guess sir. what? Today we got four of the top five defenses in the National Football League playing on Championship Sunday. And to me, the defense that fares the best, I'm not talking about just going to Minnesota. I think they're going to hoist the trophy. It's the big Whoa. Championship Sunday. The best defense to me is going to hoist that trophy in Minneapolis. All right, Matt. All right, guys. If you're a 16 year old kid growing up in Boston, you are spoiled. All of New England spoiled. 14 world title games, whether it's Celtics, Patriots, Red Sox, Bruins, you have no idea. My kids are growing up in Boston right now, okay? You know what they're doing today during the Patriots game? We got like town hockey games, we got basketball, it's Dedham versus Brockton, it's business as usual. I bring it up to the coaches, I'm like, yo, what's going on? And they're like, oh, it's just, just the championship game. Just Jacksonville. So my statement is, I hope the Patriots players and coaches don't take this same approach that fans, some fans are taking up in New England right now. This is special times. This is not going to last forever. Seven I mean, straight years. I mean, it's made unbelievable. Unbelievable. Well, for me, everybody always says that Christmas is the most wonderful time of the year. Yeah. Wrong. Hey. It's the NFL playoff. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> this is unbelievable. <laughs> That's my best Everson Griffin impression with the plays <laughs> that happened during the playoffs, man. You can't make this stuff up. That was a storybook ending for the Minnesota Vikings. And, man, I was so excited, man. I was tweeting. I was on my Instagram. I mean, you can't imagine the, the amount of emotions that these teams went through in this game. You know, the goal line stand in Philly. And then that last second, oh, my God. Oh, my God. You can't make this up. You cannot make this is, you have a this is unbelievable. <laughs> unbelievable. I mean, we let gotta me, get let me side by side. Hey, let me say that. Sam, that's exactly my, you know, how I, how I felt and all that. It's because I would have been in first place at the oh, same one. Now Randy's in first place, <laughs> and I was like, over. oh my okay. god. Yeah. Statement is Don't over. Don't worry about me.